what we're doing is building on the shoulders of giants in this field. There's been a tremendous amount of uh, terrific work aimed at uh, harnessing the power of T-cell killing and targeting that to cancer cells to eliminate uh, uh, tumor uh, tissue. And what we have done is looked at a few of the limitations that uh, still exist with this terrific technology and we've tried to solve the, those limitations. One of the limitations is the uh, inability to control the rate of tumor lysis. Uh, in some cases it occurs so rapidly that a tumor lysis syndrome ensues or a, cyto a cytokine storm arises and this activates the Im patient's immune system systemically leading to uh, often uh, very serious side effects and even death and we've discovered a way to control this. A second uh, limitation that we have uh, undertaken to address is the inab inability to terminate the tumor lysing response after the uh, malignant mass has been entirely eliminated and we have used uh, uh, our same technology to allow this rapid termination of the response. And the third uh, limitation that we have addressed is uh, the inability of the current CAR T cell technology to kill tumors where it, they're antigenically very heterogeneous. That is, right now the CAR T cells are designed with an antibody on the outside of the uh, engineered T cell surface that recognizes a tumor specific antigen. And if the tumor mutates and tumors constantly mutate. They uh, are, have very unstable genomes and so they often will mutate not to express that particular antigen, in which case the engineered CAR T cell will not recognize or kill that, uh, that particular clone of T cells. And after you kill those that you can kill, those that you cannot kill then take over and recur. And so we have developed the capability to use one, one single uh, engineered chimeric antigen receptor T cell to kill uh, essentially virtually all uh, uh, tumor cells, regardless of their antigenic specificity. And so these three things, I think, can improve the uh, already terrific uh, T cell, CAR T cell technology that's been developed by many others. Well, what we have done is we have taken the standard uh, CAR T cell technology, and instead of using an antibody on the outside surface to recognize a tumor specific antigen, we have attached an antibody to fluorescein, which is a simple yellow dye. And we have a very high affinity um, uh, femtomolar antibody that recognizes fluorescein. Now, that doesn't do any good because that's not going to enable it to bind to a cancer cell. So what we do is we link fluorescein to another small molecular weight ligand that is very specific for uh, a subset of cancers. And uh, we form a bridge between fluorescein, usually a couple or three atoms, and this tumor-specific ligand. And so the two then uh, enable the fluorescein binds to the uh, engineered T cell, the um, uh, tumor-specific ligand binds to the cancer cell surface and, it, and the bridging molecule then forces the docking of the two cell types together. And once one docks the uh, T cell to the cancer cell, that triggers the killing response that eliminates a tumor. Now, how do we solve our three limitations? First of all, just by administering the right concentration at the right rate of this bridging molecule, we can control the rate of tumor lysis and uh, cytokine release. So just uh, um, controlling the rate of administration solves that problem. How do we terminate the response when the, tum when the tumor has been eliminated? We uh, simply discontinue administration of the bridging molecule. And so that then uh, no longer allows the ex uh, residual CAR T cells to attack any other cells, the healthy cells that may express the same tumor specific antigen, then how do we address the heterogeneity in the tumor? We actually have uh, tumor specific ligands for I would say over 95% of human tumors. 
So we uh, make a cocktail, the fluorescein linked to, let's say, uh, a ligand that targets all GI tract cancers. And then we make fluorescein linked to a ligand that targets another set of cancers, and fluorescein linked to a ligand that targets another set of cancers. And we've found that four of these fluorescein ligand conjugates in a cocktail can uh, bind and force the contact between the engineered CAR T cell and CAR T cell in virtually every cancer clone that we have been able to identify. Uh, there may be some that will still escape our ability to uh, to, to kill, but nevertheless, uh, we the capability is there to use a single engineered CAR T cell with these. A diversity of adapter molecules, small molecular weight adapter mo molecules that are very easy to synthesize and are very stable during storage, uh, uh, use these adapters to uh, kill essentially all t tumor cells in the body. What will happen is when you inject this, the tumor specific ligand will bind to all the tumor cells and paint the tumor cells yellow with this very high affinity haptin that the antibody on the CAR T cell recognizes. And uh, by uh, derivatizing the, all tumor cells with this paint and leaving the uh, healthy cells unmarked, you have this specificity that allows tumor cell specific killing. Interesting looking scans. <laughs> oh, believe it. Uh, let me tell you, I, this uh, is not part of this particular technology, but the same strategy is being used uh, to assist surgeons in removal of all malignant disease during surgery. And that is in human clinical trials. The surgeons inject the tumor targeted fluorescein uh, very shortly before surgery. They go in and, and the way the clinical trials have been set up to date, they remove all the malignant disease they can see, he or she can see with the naked eye, and then they turn on the fluorescent lamp. And to date, they're finding that they can remove five times more malignant lesions with the aid of our tumor targeted fluorescent dye than without it. And virtually 100% of the fluorescent lesions have turned out to be cancer. So it really enables, uh, it, it, we believe this is going to revolutionize the um, whole uh, field of uh, cancer surgery. But the same technology works to target the CAR T cell to these same cancer cells so they can clean up afterwards. No, we haven't started the CAR T cell uh, clinical trials, but again, we have used the same bridging molecule uh, for fluorescence guided surgery in human clinical trials. And those are being done at uh, Mayo Clinic, at University of Pennsylvania Medical Center, the University of Leiden in Holland, University of Groningen in Holland, Moffitt Cancer Center, um, Indiana University near us, a number of places. And it's working out very well to date. We're about, we have a uh, sensitivity of 98% and a, a positive predictive value or a specificity of uh, 96%, which is phenomenal in, in the clinical trials uh, finished to date. So it's, a, it's encouraging technology. Both of them are. <laughs> Yes, we're going to move as quickly as possible to bring the T-cell technology, again, using basically the uh, engineered uh, uh, characteristics of the current CAR T-cells, except we'll, we're placing fluorescein, uh, an anti-fluorescein SCFV on the outside for recognition of our painted cancer cells. All of this was done by a graduate student, Yang Gu Li, who's standing over there, and uh, he should be here, not me, because he did all of the work.